Hey there folks, Eric William here with Indie Films Backstage out here at the Indie Gathering in Mentor, Ohio, and I've got Edgar and Adriel here with me. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on the uh, show. Thank and you if you can, for the folks that weren't out here uh, this weekend and lucky enough to meet you guys, introduce yourselves and tell us what brought you out here to the Indie Gathering this weekend. Well, Eric, thank you for having us. It's an awesome venue. We're having a great time out here. Uh, my name is Edgar Alejandro, and I'm a co-founder of Rising Again Productions, as well as the director of photography for Home. For Home, okay. Yes. And I was going to say a lot of good things I've heard about Home, just by the oh, way. Right just right just, right just right let you know. Right just, right so, and, and Edgar? Uh, I was the writer and director of Home, also the co-founder of Rising Again Productions alongside Edgar. Um, we've been doing commercial advertisement for about four years, and this is our debut feature, so we're excited to be traveling the world with this feature film and taking second place horror feature here at the Indie Gathering. So Fantastic. So second place on a debut feature. Is that Wow. That's, I, I would have never, ever guessed that, that was a debut. That's amazing. Congratulations. Um, and for the, again, for the folks that weren't lucky enough here to uh, screen that, uh, can you tell us a little bit without giving too much away about home and, and what the story was? I think uh, Roman yeah. went actually okay. a little bit more uh, equipped to tell it. Home is a story about a small town best-selling author that starts enduring heart palpitations and heart issues mm -hmm. that ends up leading to a near-death experience. Now, after awaking, she starts to realize that a new force has come back with her to her family home, mm -hmm. forcing her two daughters to go through a series of hallucinations that reveal secrets of family history that start to tear apart a family bond that never thought uh, was weaker. And it's, it's definitely something that people can relate to in terms of, you know, growing up, discovering things about family that's really hard. Family secrets yeah. are something that everybody goes through. But we tell it in the horror suspense genre. So people who aren't looking for something that's too dramatically close to home can still have a means of having a good time, um, having untraditional jump scares, mm -hmm. having no sex, no nudity, everything that's untraditional about horror cinema, right. and, and kind of redefining the wheel of what it means to, to be an independent horror film. I was just about to say that really literally does kind of just redefine everything that, you know, independent horror sometimes is. You've yeah. got these, I won't say, you know, formulas, but you have these Absolutely. these things that most people are checking the list off of, and it doesn't, it sounds like you kind of wanted to steer away from that a little bit and just kind of reinvent it a little Absolutely. bit and, and show people that there's a different way to say, to, to show indie horror, so, which is, congratulations, by the way, so obviously, second place, you did a great job. Yeah. Um, now, if you can take us a little bit behind uh, the production of something like this, uh, let's start with, um, let's start with casting, because obviously casting is a big part of it, because you get an ensemble of people together, you've got this, you've got this group, and it really shows through in the movie so tell us a little bit if you can we'll start there uh, well our protagonists are actually Asian American women uh, mm -hmm. the most underrepresented minority in cinema so that to us was really important in terms of right. really redefining what it means to be an American mm -hmm. because for the longest time it feels like there's been a very set standard that Hollywood has not budged to until very recently uh, so in that aspect that was really important to us and just the fact that it's directed by and, and produced by two people of Hispanic descent right. uh, I feel like really does break barriers as well I think in, yes I think that's a very important part I'm glad you touched on that because I, I agree that a lot of times like you said you know Hollywood the big budget productions have really just kind of started you know kind of exploring that avenue because you know it's that's what America is now and whereas as indie filmmakers you have the voice and you have you can kind of give that voice to the voiceless and give people the opportunity to show what we're you know what America is about and I and I commend you for that it's amazing um, and then if we can Take us a little bit uh, as far as production. How long did something like this come together? What were you looking at as far as uh, for time? Uh, you know, as far as how long to put to put this together? So for pre-production, we spent six months. Uh, it was five days a week, eight-hour days of pre-production. That was coming up with everything from the director scripts to the assistant director scripts to um, revisions on scripts to make sure that it was fitting our budget profile. Next thing you know, uh, we're at global crowdfunding convention raising funds. After that, we cancel our crowdfunding campaign because we realize that investors have interest. We sign a deal with an investor, and next thing you know, we're in Reno, Nevada filming. So it took six months for that process, 15 days consecutive to film the entire movie, uh, 12 days of production, three bleed days just for pickup shots, things that we got inspired from while we were out of town, and um, then about three months of post. So we're talking a solid year that this yeah. film came together. Um, of nonstop work. I mean, our team was so dedicated. Uh, Edgar and myself, we do this full time uh, for the commercialized portion of the business that we own. And 
uh, it was just a magnificent feeling to be able to spend an entire year working on our dream project. And I was, yeah, was going to say, you know, a lot of times, I think people out there, especially in indie films, sometimes they don't realize that, you know, because it's independent film and your guys are out there, you know, on the ground, you know, hitting the pavement yourselves, that sometimes you can't do these overnight. You know, you, they hear about the 15-day production. Oh, that's what I, so I'm going to spend 15 days doing this. No, it's it's no. it's a year of your life that you're literally sending your, your blood and tears into something like this. And to see it, you know, come to fruition like this at the festival, I think it's fantastic. So, and especially for a debut feature, that's amazing. Thank you. So, I, I tell you what, um, before I let you guys go here, uh, for the beginning, for the people that weren't here for uh, this weekend, where can they find out more about the, the, the film and about yourselves? The social media, websites, how do we find that out? Well, uh, what I strongly recommend doing for the viewers at home, please like us on Facebook.com slash This Is Not Your Home. This is where you're going to get all the up-to-date information as we are traveling the world. We have some really exciting things happening. If you have not liked it, I cannot recommend strongly enough liking it, guys. Do it now. <laughs> also, if you want to just directly follow what we got going on as a company, we do have a television series and another feature film currently in pre-production. Uh, you can follow us at facebook.com slash rising again productions. Uh, you'll also be linked to that if you go to facebook.com slash this is not your home. And you'll also be linked to both of our personal profiles for Adriel Roman and Edgar Alejandro. Okay, perfect. That was going to be the next thing. I was like, we got to get you guys your personal. So if everything's linked all together, great job. Yeah, <laughs> we, make it easy. we make it easy for people to find us because we want to raise yeah. awareness about what we're doing, not only for the film community, uh, but for everything that home stands for, yeah. especially diversity and, and, and raising awareness that indie cinema doesn't have to be simple. Right. You can dream big, mm -hmm. you can go for the stars, and it doesn't always have to be... Um, it doesn't always have to be reduced to fit the ideas of what indie film means to certain people. Amazing. Well, congratulations, Thank guys. You. Thank you so much. And uh, again, guys, make sure you check them out. And we're going to get you guys out of here because we got the awards tonight. So you guys got to go get your trophies, man. So uh, thank you so much for joining us here on the show. It's pleasure, been a pleasure. pleasure. And uh, folks, we're going to get you back here to the action right here on Indie Films Backstage, taking you backstage. Why today's best indie films. See you next time.